Hey, what's going on? Steven here. So today we're going to be talking about how to take apart the NYX Z3 truck. So what I'm going to do is share my learnings about how to easily remove the truck assembly to replace the shock springs. Let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is to heat up the center kin pin. Uh, why you want to heat up the center kin pin is because you want to remove it. As soon as you remove the kin pin, your entire truck assembly is going to disconnect from the rest of your board and this makes everything else easier to reach and easier to work on. And there's definitely Loctite applied to the kin pins and every single screw on this electric skateboard so you definitely want to uh, heat it up first. The thing about these screws is that they get stripped very easily. So you don't want to brute force it. If you brute force it, you will definitely strip the screws. And once you strip them, it's going to be nearly impossible to kind of take them apart. So take my recommendation, use a hairdryer or use uh, some sort of heat gun, melt the glues before you attempt to unscrew anything. So once the glue is hot enough and once it melted and you can start turning the kimpin, take a hex key, start turning it counterclockwise and you'll see the screw begin to come out. The black screw that you're taking out is not the kimpin. It is simply screwed into the kimpin. So once you take that out, the kimpin should still be inside of the truck. And, and as you can see here, you'll still need to go to the back side. You see on the video, I was trying to unscrew it counterclockwise, but you don't actually need to do that. Um, you just need to push the kin pin out from the outside. So go to the side in which you took out the screw and just take something like a thicker Allen key and just completely push the kin pin out. You might need to hold the truck a little bit uh, because of the weight, it might create some friction and it might be not as easy to push it out. So hold on to the truck and push the entire kin pin out. And once you push the kin pin out, you'll still see that this screw is still screwed into the kin pin. Uh, the black screw is still in the kin pin on the other side. That's fine. Just leave it there. You don't need to unscrew that from the kin pin. So once the kin pin comes out, this entire truck simply just falls onto the floor. So make sure you catch it. And this assembly that you see here is what comes out. There's going to be two loose brass spacers. Make sure you put them into like a box or something that you can keep track of it so it doesn't you know, fall on the floor and you lose it. Once you collect the brass spacers, uh, the bushing pin, uh, you don't have to unscrew it completely. You just have to you just have to unscrew it far enough for the bushings to drop off. So what you need to do is to reach the top section uh, to remove some screws and the bushings are in the way. So you definitely want to remove the bushings. Once the bushings are removed, you see these two top screws. You'll want to apply a heat gun um, to these to the screw. So how it works on these trucks with these screws is that there is a bolt and there's two screws on each end of the bolt. All you need to do is to remove one screw and then you can push the other bolt out without removing the other screw. And reminder again, apply a lot of heat so that the glue melts and you won't strip your screws. And it's actually the same on the bottom as well. The, uh, on the bottom, the pin is a little bit longer. Just make sure you apply a little bit of heat to both ends. Uh, what happened to me is I almost completely stripped this particular screw on the bottom because it just won't budge no matter how much heat I apply to it. My last resort was I had a clamp, I had a tweezer, and then I used the tweezer to hold onto the blue metal ring and then forcibly forced it to turn and that kind of gotten everything loose. In the case that uh, no matter how much heat that you apply to these screws and they still don't turn, use something like this sort of um, tweezer to get hold of the blue disc under it because that is kind of what is stuck and what's creating all the pressure. Hold on to that and then turn it counterclockwise. As soon as I did that, everything just came loose and I was able to safely remove this, these screws. 
Um, I, I definitely think a stack in the future could offer some sort of better screw system because the entire time when I was removing these screws, I was just scared to death that something is going to get stripped and they were very close to being stripped the entire time. Now, once you remove the screw on one side, you can use a bigger, say like a pencil or like a metal hex key like this and push in the other end and you can just push out the, the pin that's still inside of the structure. And once that's out, you are now free to remove your entire shock. This is what the arm looks like without um, any springs on it. Since you remove those two bolts, you need to put your new shock in there and then put those bolts back and then put the screws back exactly the way that we removed it. And be sure to apply and be sure to apply blue Loctite um, as you're kind of closing everything up. So a couple key takeaways. The first is to make sure you apply heat generously to melt the Loctite. And number two, the, how the system works is that there's some sort of pin that goes through the entire width of the truck with two screws at the end. You just need to remove one screw at the one end and then you can push this entire pin out without needing to remove the screw on the other side. Number three, sometimes the screw is still stuck onto the truck and does not budge no matter how hard you try, even to the point where you're stripping the screw. What you wanna do is to grab a clamp or grab some sort of tweezer to turn the blue disc under the screw instead of turning the screw that's almost being stripped to kind of loosen things up. And um, that's really it. And once you get everything taken apart, putting the shock, putting your new shock, and then, um, just do everything in reverse to close up the system. So thank you so much and um, see you on the next one.